Okay, so uh, given October and the rainy period of the time here in Berlin, knowing the Voiblab guys, I sort of uh, joining the TED hack and uh, I'm glad that I did it. Uh, if you know me, I'm working mainly with the signaling server, so I don't really do juicy stuff like IVRs or you know media processing, transcoding, and so on. I was looking at what's available there, and uh, Ubuntu Canonical was uh, the the suggestion from from that sponsor was uh, quite interesting because it looks like being uh, an interesting concept be behind these uh, snaps kind of lightweight uh, container so you can build your own um, application and have it uh, then deployed to any kind of Linux or um, uh, you know a secure environment something sandbox it and you can control uh, the access on your uh, system. So it should be uh, easier to distribute and uh, again provide the higher security. So yesterday at noon after evaluating other APIs I decided to go on this one. I look at the Snapcraft IO where uh, uh, this um, documentation is available and uh, for those that don't know about Camailio, it's rather an old project. It's uh, targeting large deployments for IP telephony, but going beyond that with the voice, uh, video, instant messaging presence, um, including um, IMS and voice over LTE extensions. So this snap concept and uh, the ability to run it uh, easier on other uh, virtualized uh, system, including the cloud, could be an option to, to go. Just a couple of uh, features that one can think of deploying uh, load balancer or gateways IPv4, IPv6 could be a use case to build a dedicated uh, SNAP. Uh, resources about this SNAP, uh, you can find it online, but I'm planning to release the slides for those that want to look uh, later and they don't uh, follow the TED hack. Um, because again, it sounds like an interesting uh, concept. The first touch, so you actually need to just build a, a Snapcraft uh, file, which is a YAML format. Um, it's rather easy to understand, uh, quite common, the same structure as other uh, automation tools, like, um, you know, this from uh, DevOps. Of course, open source uh, documentation, uh, Maybe it's not straightforward, but if you dig enough, uh, and actually I had other friends here digging the same and sometimes uh, helping me. So at the end, it's not hard to get started with. Um, the main challenges were actually sorting out all this uh, restriction. Again, snaps are supposed to be like mini containers, everything running on a snap, uh, sandbox and you will have to uh, allow uh, how strict you want to have uh, that uh, instance running. And it's where I hit uh, the problems with uh, with Camailio and I actually pushed a couple of patches, surprisingly less than I expected. So at the end I had to patch Camailio to make it more friendly. Uh, overall only four patches uh, so far. The main uh, problem that I had, we, we create the uh, UDP raw sockets in Camailia for performances and that I couldn't find how that restriction is named and I, how can I leave that. So at the end I uh, made a patch to make it easier to disable it in Camailia because uh, these raw sockets we created only on BSD and um, Linux system where we have um, this possibility but it's running on macOS and other systems without raw sockets. So, uh, the option was there, we were actually detecting that automatically, but now it was a Linux system, an Ubuntu, which uh, our uh, make file was uh, saying it has supports for raw sockets. Then there are uh, some files and control uh, um, sockets that we create, uh, again, being sandboxed, it's, uh, you have to be careful with that, and uh, I had to make it a bit more flexible to set the, the path to it. And then the snaps are actually read-only. And if you need to change, you'll have to update uh, like config files or whatsoever, you will need to move to a data there. 
and uh, then you need to create another uh, startup like script to get everything uh, started with uh, with the, the within the snap uh, the commits if someone wants to to follow and then uh, for the future work uh, deploy the tools, the additional tools we have with the SNAP, then interworking inter with other SNAP, like MySQL server, you know, the backends and so on. And uh, for my uh, own, uh, I would like to evaluate the, the performance of running as a SNAP or within containers and so on. Uh, I don't know how much time we have, but actually I want to um, show it running live. Uh, okay. So the snap, it's actually the, the file, it's really simple. Uh, um, the goal here was to use the, the stock Kamailio from the GitHub, so not even a local clone, we'll fetch it from the, the web and we'll build it. Uh, so we put here uh, the path to the GitHub and this is an additional file that I created, is the one that starts the Kamailio within the snap. Um, where is the second one? I don't have it open anymore. So this is, is not, it's also very simple. It's more about uh, updating the path to the module folders because by default it's user local and so on. But here it's within the snap. So we have to use this dollar snap, dollar snap data uh, environment that uh, uh, variables that are available within the snap and then a basic uh, starting of Kamailio. Uh, in the folder here, practically we don't um, have uh, anything else than the two files. Uh, there is no Kamailio running. Uh, okay, this is editing the, the CTL file. Uh, compiling or getting it uh, running. So requires this command, and you will see it will uh, get the receive the objects and will uh, take a bit uh, to to fetch and then uh, to compile. But then everything uh, uh, will be rather smooth. Probably Camilo is gonna take like uh, one uh, minute uh, to compile. Uh, back to the presentation, did I miss anything uh, important? I already uh, said a uh, word to say from now that uh, I actually plan to, to publish uh, as an open source repository on uh, my account on GitHub, so my ID, and if you want to contact me via Twitter or via GitHub, you can find it with uh, Mikonda as a user ID. And, uh, Probably it was gonna take, uh, I don't know, a few days, but uh, in, in this week I'm uh, gonna push everything out there. Again, it's not nothing sophisticated. Uh, if you use the, the master branch, it's uh, just gonna work too smooth. Compiling Camailio, 15 years development, 200 modules, uh, it's gonna take a, a bit, but uh, I wanted to show that uh, it's a rather simple process. Uh, probably very good for embedded devices or if you want to deploy something in a cloud. Uh, probably with Kamailia you can even create a platform with many nodes like HProxy doing a lot balancer, security, firewall, you know, detecting all these attacks. And behind it, uh, registrar or, you know, accounting something uh, uh, that it should be a bit uh, more secure. Very interesting would be this uh, interop with uh, MySQL backend server or even with uh, free switch asterisk for media service. Uh, we didn't have time with plan or uh, some other uh, persons here tried. But it's, it's uh, I think snaps are something that uh, one should look at uh, uh, for deploying in the future. Okay. So still compiling, 
not many to go hopefully okay now it's installing that okay so now it's uh, building the snap soon we'll see as I understood it's more like um, a zip archive so now we have the snap here there are some folders created by the command by fetching compiling and so on uh, installation I have the command here for here installing okay it's asking for Okay, so we have it installing again. Nothing actually, or, or is, and now it's started already by um, the installation script because in the in the file we we set it's a demo in forking mode and it's automatically started. So practically, you should just deliver this snap file, which has all the dependencies at that moment uh, during the build, including the config file, and you have this uh, start script for uh, tuning before actually launching. And it's uh, actually at the end, it's running with uh, within the systemd, and probably Kamailio started here listening on this, and already like, should be on listening on C. As I said, for the future performance testing integration with other application and uh, deploying the helper tools from Camellia project. So this is it. Thank you all the TAD crew from global and also here local. I enjoyed the time and looking forward to future editions. Thank you. <laughs>